Thank you, Lord Mayor. Thank you all for coming. Um, uh, when I was at university, there was a slogan which was, think locally, act globally. And I think that's almost been a mantra for the City Council and also something that we've embodied in this building that it was built in the 19th century as a, a local centre for a particular part of the community, flourished for nearly 100 years and as the community changed, fell into disuse and now has uh, been reworked to accommodate another local institution, the Ballinghurst Theatre Company, who have been growing and growing, becoming increasingly important to the cultural life of this community and of the city generally. But also this um, building has a kind of global focus in terms not only of its sustainability, but in terms of keeping this cultural icon, this building, uh, going for the next 100, 200 years. So that um, I think it's amazing to look at the way this society is embracing the reuse of buildings, giving them new uses instead of just knocking them down. So here we've done, uh, as the Lord Mayor uh, um, outlined, uh, conserving the ceiling, conserving the um, old uh, fake marble finish on the walls, replacing the stained glass windows which had been turned into kind of amber, you know, bathroom glass in the 40s and recreating these original Edwardian or Lake Victorian stained glass windows. And either side of them are sheets of glass, 30 millimetres thick, to control not only the noise coming into the theatre so that it's quiet in here, but most importantly to control the noise that comes out of the theatre so that the theatre company won't be a nuisance to neighbouring residents. Um, we have photovoltaics on the roof. Um, Almost pioneering in Australia is the use of LED theatre lighting so that we're chewing up a whole lot less power every night when there's a production on. There's a low energy um, air conditioning system that gradually wafts cool or warm air from under each seat and it stays as a kind of blanket around the, um, uh, around the audience. Um, and all of these things together mean that we're making less of an impact on the environment as well as the huge um, energy saving in not demolishing this building and rebuilding it. Uh, it's been an incredible four, four and a half years, I think, for our office, for everybody that's worked on it. Uh, trying to squeeze 200 seats within the footprint of this building has been an extraordinarily difficult task, um, which I hope doesn't really show. Every so often there are you know, bits where you think, wow, that's a bit squeezy. Um, but we work very hard to get this uh, feeling of uh, grandeur and excitement coming to the theatre. So not only when you wind up in this incredibly beautiful room, but as your whole journey from the street becomes a theatrical experience. And backstage, um, we've squeezed in a three-storey, is it one, two, three, a story addition, all the required back of house and bits and pieces for operating a professional theatre and accommodating the theatre company within it. Um, I'd especially like to thank the builders who worked so hard uh, trying to uh, undertake all of this work on such a constrained site without causing too much irritation to the uh, neighbourhood. And um, I trust all of you will come back and, and uh, become part of this new community that this theatre will represent for the people of Sydney.